Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to the Bible reading. Amen. From the King James Bible, the Word of God. And this is your host, Brother Scott, bringing you these Bible readings each and every evening as I'm able to. Amen. And so I'd like to greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So I hope you've trusted him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. So if you have your Bible handy, please Turn with me as we continue in 1 Kings, and we'll be reading chapters 3 and 4 this evening. So, let's get started, and um, if you have not caught up yet, well, um, you can go back and read it uh, on your own time, or you can go back and watch the videos and follow along. Amen? So, here we go. Chapter 3 and verse 1 says, And Solomon made affinity with Pharaoh, king of of Egypt, and took Pharaoh's daughter, and brought her into the city of David, until he had made an end of building his own house, and the house of the Lord, and the wall of Jerusalem round about. Only the people sacrificed in high places, because there was no house built unto the name of the Lord until those days. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statutes of David his father, only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer upon that altar. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth, and in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness, that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne, as it is this day. And now, O Lord, my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father, and I am but a little child. I know not to go out or come in. I know not how to go out or come in. Excuse me. Um, so that's what he says, verse 8. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give, therefore, thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord, that Solomon had asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, nor hath, or neither hath asked riches for thyself, nor hath asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment, behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart. Amen. So that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my, uh, my commandments as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. And Solomon awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And he came to Jerusalem and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord and offered up burnt offerings and offered peace offerings and made a feast to all his servants. Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king, and stood before him. And the one woman said, O oh my lord, I and this woman dwell in one house, and I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass that the third day after that I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also, and we were together. There was no stranger with us in the house, save we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night, because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight, and took my son from beside me, while thine handmaid slept, 
and laid it in her bosom, and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I arose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did bear. And the other woman said, Nay, but the living is my son, and the dead is thy son. And this said, No, but the dead is thy son, and the living is my son. Thus they spake before the king. Then said the king, The one saith, This is my son that liveth, and thy son is the dead. And the other saith, Nay, but thy son is the dead, and my son is the living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. And the king said, Divide the living child in two, and give half to the one, and half to the other. Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king, for her bowels yearned upon her son. And she said, O my lord, give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. And all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to do judgment. Chapter 4 So King Solomon was king over all Israel, and these were the princes which he had, Azariah the son of Zadok the priest, uh, Eli uh, Horeth, and Ahiah, the sons of Sh Shisha, scribes, Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahilud, the recorder, and Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, was over the host, and Zadok, the, and Zadok and Mabiathar were the priests, and Azariah, uh, Azariah, the son of Nathan, was over the officers. And Zabud, the son of Nathan, was principal officer and the king's friend. And Ahishar was over the household. And Adoniram, the son of Abba, Ad, Ad, Abda, was over the tribute. And Solomon had twelve officers over all Israel, which provided rituals, uh, riddles, rituals for the king and his household. Each man his month in a year made provision, and these are their names, the son of Hur in Mount Ephraim, the son of Dekar in Mechaz, and in Sh uh, Shalabim, and Beshemesh, and Elon Beth uh, Hanan, and the son of uh, Heshed, uh, Hesed in Araboth, to him pertaineth uh, Soka, and all the land of Hefir, the son of Abinadab, and all the region of Dor, which hath, or which had, t uh, Tephoth, the daughter of Solomon, to wife, uh, Baena, ba the son of Ahilud, to him pertained uh, Teanach, and Megiddo, and all uh, Beth Beshian, which is by Zar Zartana beneath Jezreel, from Beshinan uh, to Ab Abel Mihola, even unto the place that is beyond Jokneum, the son of Geber in Ramoth Gilead, to him pertain the towns of uh, Jair, the son of Manasseh. Which are, <clears throat> which are to Gilead, to him also pertain the region of Argob, which is in Bashan, threescore great cities with walls and brazen bars. Ahinadab, the son of Ido, had Mahinaim. Ahimaaz was in Nephtali. He was took uh, he also took Bash, uh, ba Basmath, the daughter of Solomon, to wife. <clears throat> Benaiah, the son of Hushai, was in Asher and in Aloth. Jehoshaphat, the son of Pariah, in Ishakar. 
Shimei, the son of Elah, in Benjamin. Geber, the son of Uri, was in the country of Gilead, in the country of Sihon, king of the Amorites, and of Og, king of Bashan. And he was the only officer which was in the land. Judah and Israel were many, as the sand which is by the sea, in multitude, eating and drinking and making merry. And Solomon reigned over all kingdoms, from the river unto, unto the land of the Philistines, and unto the border of Egypt. They brought presents, and served Solomon all the days of his life. And Solomon's provision for one day was thirty measures of fine flour, and threescore measures of meal, ten fat oxen, and twenty oxen out of the pastures, and an hundred sheep beside hearts, and roebucks, and fallow deer, and fatted fowl. For he had dominion over all the region on this side the river, from Tif Tif uh, Tifsa, Tif even to Azza, over all the kings on this side of the river, or of this side the river, excuse me, of this side the river. And he had peace on all sides round about him. And Judah and Israel dwelt safely, every man under his vine and under his fig tree, from Dan even to Beersheba, all the days of Solomon. And Solomon had forty thousand stalls of horses for his chariots, and twelve thousand horsemen. And those officers provided uh, victuals for King Solomon, and for all that came unto the King Solomon's table, every man in his month, they lacked nothing. Barley also and straw for the horses and dromedaries brought they unto the place where the officers were, every man according to his charge. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding, exceeding much uh, in largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan the Ezra, Ezraite, and Heman the uh, Ch Chalco, and Darda the sons of Mahal, and his fame was in all nations round about. And he spake these, or uh, he spake three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. And he spake of trees from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon, even unto the hyssop that springeth out of the wall. He spake also of beasts, and of fowl, and of creeping things, and of fishes. And there came of all the people to hear the wisdom of Solomon from all kings of the earth, which had heard of his wisdom. Amen. So... That is where we will leave off for this evening. And Lord willing, we're back tomorrow evening for the chapters. We'll be reading chapters 5 through 7 tomorrow. So I hope you'll come back for that. And Lord willing, we're back in the morning time to give you the daily devotional. Amen. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Until next time, this is Brother Scott signing off. And apologize about the lighting, but uh, sometimes it gets a little dark in here. But uh, anyway, we'll be back tomorrow, Lord willing, and may the Lord richly bless you, and y'all have a great and wonderful rest of your evening. And remember, only Jesus saves, so believe on him, and he will wash away all your sin. Amen. All right, so bye-bye for now.